Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone else in between, welcome back to a Karen video! We love doing these, and I haven't done enough of them in my channel, but I think this is something I want to, uh, like, reach out to. I, I definitely want to look into more content of, of Karens and angry feminists and, and just people being completely stupid around this world. I mean, it's fun to look at them, but it can also be frustrating at the same time. If you're new to the channel, I make content like this from time to time, just to see if, like, we can have some fun here together. I am a little bit late to this one, but apparently, Karen has been not happy with the neighbor's flag. Is it another country's flag, which wouldn't really matter? No. Is it the American flag? No. What flag is it? It's Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Look, I'll show you the TikTok and then you guys can go ahead and, and <laughs> fucking tell me that I'm crazy and not the Karen, but good luck with that one. Here you go. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I want to talk about this song. Tigger's flag. Okay. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, why not? Now, I thought the American flag was real nice. Uh-huh. I don't say nothing about the shrubbery being cut. I don't say nothing about the backyard. But now, I don't like that. Lady, it's not like you can decide what you like and don't like in someone else's yard. You're literally standing on her property and you're judging and saying, mm-hmm, I approve this flag, because a woman like you would of course do that, and I do have nothing to say about the backyard. It's like, you wouldn't have shit to say about the backyard either way. <laughs> you wouldn't have, or the flag for that matter. And if you guys live in the States, and you are coming out and saying, actually, there are rules for this one, you need to actually have the American flag up there, otherwise you can't live there, uh, that's some fucking, that's some fucking propaganda shit right there. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like those rules. So you guys need to get rid of those rules. It's triggering something from her memory that she ain't liking, boys. And we gotta get rid of it. We gotta band together. We gotta get rid of it. We gotta get to the solution. So what is the solution, Karen? Oh, okay, I didn't hang that. My brother hung that. This well, I know. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I don't like it. Okay. And we have rules. I don't have, to, I don't, won't have to go find out what they are. But I, I don't like that. <laughs> why would you, why would you bring up the rules if you haven't even looked up the rules? You don't even know what the rules are. You don't even know. You don't know if there even are rules. I mean, I'm sure neighborhoods have some sort of rules, like make sure the grass isn't like too big or something like that, or make sure that the tree that you have doesn't stick out too much in the streets. You know, I'm sure there's those common rules, but that's like common for everyone. It's not like just community based. Don't bring up something you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Like, I, I I'm sure. You came out here with the plan, and then she opened the door, and you were like, Oh, yeah, I just wanted to say I didn't like this, but I don't know why. I'm sure there's a rule saying something against it. I just needed something to complain about. I'm bored, you know? I'm like 97. I'm getting dementia. My husband's dick doesn't work anymore. I I'm bored. I mean, this isn't a homeowner's association, though. No, but there's rules for the community. There, there, there is called Williamsburg something. And there's rules. <laughs> it's called William Berg's something. Just, that's the rule. Like, you open the book, it's the holy grail of all community rules that all Karens are sticking by for the centuries, and it's called William Berg something. That's, like, with all the years that they've had to plan out this name, they added something in the title of the rules. Yes, Karen, that is exactly how things work. <laughs> you fucking imbecile. Okay. So... And I'm, I'm just saying, I don't like it. All right. It makes it look tacky. Welcome. Makes the neighborhood look tacky. Okay, well, now she's being honest. It took us about a minute, maybe, to finally figure out, like, what the main problem was. The main problem isn't so much about the rules. I'm, I'm sure she is thinking there's a rule, <laughs> I guess. That's the closest we'll get to. But it looks tacky. And I'll say this, Karen. When you get the context that a child or a younger brother, basically a child, was hanging up that flag and it doesn't stand, you know, it doesn't distract anyone, it's not blocking the streets, it's not 
blocking your way to getting to work. It doesn't ruin your life. It doesn't affect your mentality at all. If, if anything, it makes it more positive because, you know, I would look at that flag and be like, oh yeah, I remember Winnie the Pooh from the, my fucking childhood because my childhood wasn't that bad, Karen. Why would you even go across the street just to knock on someone's door and say, here's my opinion that you didn't ask for? It, it doesn't, but that's okay. Huh. I said it doesn't, but it's okay. You're allowed your opinion. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm gonna find out about it. All right. Well, you have a good day. Uh-huh. You don't, you ain't getting away with this. I'm about to find out. You wouldn't have gotten away with this if it wasn't for that measling little opinion of yours. What I love about this TikTok is that she's actually talking like a fucking villain. Her arms are crossed behind her back. Like, if, if someone is going to have a street fight with me and an old lady walks up, in her stance like this, with her arms behind her back all the time, I'd give up. That's a stance of confidence, and I just would not fight at all. I would be like, okay, you're the next dark side. I wouldn't look at you. I wouldn't give you the time of day. I'll kneel for you, and I'll work for you, my lady. I'll get rid of all the tigger flags you could think of. But it ain't over yet, because we ended up getting an update on part two of this whole story from the same TikToker. Take a look at this. So this was the offensive flag. Yes, it is Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. TikTok banned my entire account last night for posting that video. I appealed it and they put it back up, but apparently y'all getting mad. <laughs> is anybody surprised that her TikTok got banned for this? Look, social medias have like these bots that will basically do the whole work for them. So something will happen like, oh, this is too viral or you're damaging someone's reputation. The neighbor literally just opened the door and said, okay. It, it was basically a minute and a half long, okay, I respect your opinion, and that was it. Why would you ban someone for that? I don't know, but at least they, they, she appealed it, and she got her account back, and that's, that's fucking great. So, yeah, fuck you, TikTok. Anyways, and fuck you, Karen, for your opinions, because we didn't ask for your opinion whatsoever. Looking at this picture, and I'm just looking at behind the flag, like the whole neighborhood. Nice neighborhood, I'll say that, but I do get this whole white old people vibe of like, if you don't do exactly what I do, I don't like it because it's tacky and I will look up to it and then I will see if I can find a rule. If it doesn't exist, I'll make up a rule. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> this has never worked that way. Look, I've seen neighbors from previous places I've lived at being tacky as shit. I live in a city now, so I see a lot of weird shit every day, but... And I've seen some tacky stuff from other neighbors before, but I didn't go over there and tell them to stop unless they were, like, making a lot of noises in the middle of the night. Then, of course, I would, like, ask them nicely, hey, might turn down a little bit, and then that's it, you know? That's just decent commonsy here. I don't know, guys. It's just one of those Karens who literally doesn't know why she is carrying about the situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my joke sucks. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, that's enough Karen for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you want to enjoy more videos like these. You go, don't forget to hit the like button, all right? Make sure you hit the like button. Otherwise, the Karen will come over to your house, knock on your door with her hands behind her back and tell you she doesn't like your face. It's too tacky and she will do something about it. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to know how she did it. I'll see you guys in the comment section down below. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.